I'm going to do a pair of poems about journeys. So I hope you enjoy them. First one's called Business Class. Transatlantic, that's business class. Free pyjamas, champers with some wannabe brass. I feel like I'm on the scrounge. Scoffing salmon sarnies in a virgin lounge for another two nights away somewhere. No longer matters if it's here or there as long as I've got a pristine suit, polished shoes and perfect hair. Driven away to a lardy da hotel, my name on laminated cardboard as well as I look for the bags that dig this hole and forget to declare the murder of my soul. City looks pretty from the back of this taxi in a room bigger than my flat, full of multilingual channels of tat and some kind of weird looking pillow hat next door to a Dior reeking prat that I tell myself I mustn't growl at. At least until I'm a little wiser and know if it's someone I'm supposed to miser dressed for dinner in the Clinton Suite, swallowing what I want to move from interpretations of the latest news and conspicuously absent kindred views. Volavants in je ne sais quoi, cooked by a guy with a Michelin star or something, almost going down my suit with the awkward pleasantry of this tailor-induced pedantry, squeezing business cards into my wallet, knowing our product is purpose on the fit, a babble of Dicks up selling for kicks, an industry without scruples or ethics, a Dior and Pratt that I can't say no to. Generic jazz in every bog I go to. Endless tension. It's as free as the air fare. There's death by PowerPoint tomorrow. A mine I must prepare after another beer on the company card. Because that's the only thing that ain't hard. Cheers. Thank you. And now to Poe.